Chanaj on in the corner there of Tengneng. <coughs> Ninth bout of the evening of ten bouts here at Thai Fight Phuket. There you can see Mike Vitrilla, the White Lion, which actually sounds like a nice drink. I'm not sure <laughs> if it exists. I might try white to order Russian. one tonight and just see what the bartender I'll says. Have, I'll have a couple of White Russians tonight. 27-year-old fighting out of Russia. Wouldn't feel like a real card in Phuket without a Russian. <laughs> so nice to see him on the card this evening to represent a huge population, really, in Phuket. 188 centimeters tall, 80 kgs of the weight, 32 fights, 26 wins, 6 losses. And there we can see the returning Peng Meng Sik Jai Sarong, 26 years old, from uh, Nakan Sawan, 180 centimeters tall, 89 fights, 71 victories, 14 losses with 4 draws. Former King's Cup champion, former Izuzu Cup super fight champion. Tengneng has been away from the Thai fight ring for one year and nine months. He, uh, he had some uh, legal issues. I'm not sure exactly what it was I need to go into, but... Yeah, it was very confusing. He was on a tear when he... Uh, but we saw him first in around, what, 2015, 2016. When he was fighting then at around 74 to 75 kilograms. This is a hefty 80 kgs now that he's fighting. Yeah, he hardly even looks like the same guy really has changed a lot physically but I mean we don't know we just haven't seen him fight in so long we just don't know what to expect when he was in Thai fight last time he had one of the most vicious left hands that we'd really seen I mean you loved this guy Aaron yeah you, I did you, hardly a amazing. fight went by without your eyes <laughs> sparkling well, he when he would fight and uh, and then yeah it was just really unfortunate he just kind of he had some sort of issue where he couldn't fight in Thailand. I think he might have had a fight in France or something just to hold himself over. Well, and then, I, I think he had one fight on the, on the Cumberland fight card. And it was China very and confusing and, and everyone we talked to couldn't really give us a, a definitive answer on what was going on. But I mean, I guess it's cleared up. But yeah, and just the only thing that worries me, obviously the ring rust as well, but 80 kilograms, that's heavy. I'm looking at Mike Petrilla and he looks like, he an, looks 80 like an 80 kg fighter. He looks like an 80 kg fighter. Right? Yeah, he where looks is... fit and strong, whereas, whereas Teng Nang, I mean, let's be fair, he looks soft. I mean, to be fair also, though, even when he was fighting at 73, yeah, he, he never had a, like a six-pack. He just wasn't that kind of fighter. But, like, we we thought he was kind of soft at mm. 74 or 73. Like, we thought even then he could probably drop weight, drop weight yep. a little bit. And then here we have him now, and he's six or seven kgs heavier so well, I, I mean we don't know it's it's kind of like these conversations we have in mma sometimes about when guys move weight classes is the power gonna carry up that next weight class because well, when he was at 73 he was crushing people with that left hand and he's gonna try that same left hand on on this guy mike here and who knows i mean who knows if it's gonna still carry that same power that it had before well we're about to find out a lot of questions Mike Petrillo looking very relaxed. Hometown Mike. Round one. Yeah, follow Teng Neng on social media. He's been training out of uh, Fairtex in Patia. Very famous gym, of course. Has him got some climb. Stamp Fairtex, he won last night on one championship. It looks like he's in capable hands to prepare for this fight. But again, like I said, it's got to be difficult fighting 80 kgs when you're naturally not an 80 kg fighter. Swinging over, swinging left hand there from Tengneng. Oh! Well, oh, oh, oh my goodness. Looks like the left hand is still there. Out on his feet. Down goes Mike. And I don't think he's going to get up. And you know what? You can't really tell the guy to do sit-ups when he can end a fight in less than 30 seconds with that dynamite he's got in his left hand. He's back! <laughs> I mean, we knew he was going to go to that left hand. We just didn't know how it was going to work, and there's the answer. It worked tremendously well. I still think he could cut a few KGs. I'm not going to take that statement back, but it is nice to see Tegnang back. It's nice to see him employing that weapon that he was so famous for. 
incredible. With all the questions we Mike, asked, Mike has he no idea it. what's going on. He's like, I'm fine, let's fight. Has the fight started? He's really confused. This happens sometimes, you know, you get knocked out and you, you don't even remember it. You just kind of blank out, so he probably doesn't even know. Let's have a look at that replay. Yeah, that's the left hand. Well, he was out on his feet. He's in trouble here, eats oh. another one. He's in real trouble, yeah. and then here he's basically just unconscious oh. on his feet. He got behind the referee. Can you see that? Oh, wow. Check this out again. The referee moves in to try and save by him. And he gets caught with an uppercut. Boom! Oh my goodness. What a stud. Yeah, he's got a chin. Oh, oh 30,000 bot bonus for the ref. That might go viral. Wow, he didn't even get phased either. Look at him eat oh, that. Oh, man. <laughs> it's incredible. What a chin on that ref. Take that comes back and knocks out two people. Somebody <laughs> give him a belt. <laughs> wow. Oh, that left yeah, I, mean, I, I hope that somebody shows Mike this video after so that Boom. he can see, like, so that he can see that, you know, it wasn't an unfair stoppage. It wasn't called early. <laughs> the referee is a champion. Oh, he's even oh. bleeding. Oh, maybe it's not laughable anymore. Somebody buy that guy a beer. <laughs> and from Thailand! Back with a bang! Tengne, Sid Dyson, your victor here on Thai Fight Phuket!